Hello everybody and welcome to this short video in which I'm going to review the Italian RMA helmet uh, cavalry helmet I uh, ordered from Celtic Web Merchant uh, currently I'm busy uh, with a project with a blacksmith in uh, making a uh, cal full cavalry armor 17th century and part of that is of course a suitable helmet I've ordered one from Celtic Web Merchant and it's uh, it was 320 euros uh, at Black Friday sale, so that's pretty cheap, no shipping cost. And uh, I've given a few pointers uh, which they should take into account. For example, I've asked them to leave out the ventilation holes in the, in the visor and to leave out the, the rivets in the collar because that's only more work uh, eventually because I have to adapt it uh, uh, to a certain degree. So. Uh, Let's check it out. I've just received it today in the mail and uh, let's open it up. My main concern really is that it, it fits. I've chosen to, uh, I've chosen the, the largest size because it, of course it needs a liner and uh, well, uh, it needs to fit my head and it's uh, large. So there we go. We're going uh, in in style with a 17th century knife, of course. So here's to it. Cheers. Drum roll, please. And here we are. Nicely sealed in. Let's see what they made. Okay, I can see they've taken the visor pointer into account. There are no holes, so I can make that myself, which I like to do. It doesn't look half bad, actually. It is large, so there's good hope that it actually fits my head. Uh, the things that need to be improved are the vision slits need to be bigger, larger, as per original. I'm going to make other uh, ventilation holes, really ventilation slits in the form of flames, so that needs to be adjusted. The whole thing needs to be blackened because uh, helmets were blackened with uh, oil and fire so that they wouldn't rust, as per original again. So, they've also left out the rivets in the, in the collar, and that's a good thing, because I asked so. So it isn't bad at all so far. Let's check it out. Let's try to open it up. That works stays up so it doesn't fall down when you uh, pull it up. It has a nice hook. This also goes up nicely so that's not half bad. So far so good. Let's open it up entirely. Slides up nicely and I can see there is even a liner. I don't know if you can see it. It's sort of an improvised liner made of padding which is glued to the inside which is no problem because we're just going to tear that out. You can see some welds on the inside some bad welding but that's okay because we can uh, rearrange that we can remove that later on no problem so let's try it out the presto we have a fit we have a fit Peekaboo, I see you. So, not half bad. I think I'm pretty satisfied, really. They've taken my points into account. They've made a helmet that fits me, and that's fully adjustable. So, kudos for Celtic Web Merchant and their mysterious blacksmith, because they won't say what blacksmith they got it from. But uh, I'm satisfied. Great success.